Superman is one of the most powerful heroes in the DC Universe, if not the most powerful hero. He's also one of the most well-known superheroes in the world, and pretty much everyone on the planet knows who he is. As such, he has starred in video games, movies, TV series, and animated movies and series for years. And we are going to take a look at his most powerful feats in animation, meaning both animated movies, TV series, and video games. First up, we have one of his coolest powers, Heat Vision. In the film Superman Batman Apocalypse, Batman, Superman and Supergirl are at one point on Paradise Island, which is where Wonder Woman and the Amazons are from, and all of them are attacked by an army of Doomsday clones. Now, they're not quite as powerful as the regular Doomsday, but they are still pretty damn powerful, and more than a match for an army of Amazons. And so Superman decides to end the fight himself in one blow, and he lets loose his heat vision at the entire army blasting all of them to oblivion in three seconds flat. And as far as I know, this is actually the most powerful heat vision blast that Superman has ever let off in animation. Afterwards, he's even slightly drained and out of breath from the blast, and Superman never gets out of breath. So he really does let loose here, especially taking into account the fact that the doomsdays were semi-invulnerable, and they weren't just injured or killed, they were literally vaporized and that would take a lot of power. Now, Superman also lobotomizes a different Doomsday in the JLA TV series. And just before he does this, the Doomsday on this Earth actually says that his skin is tough enough to survive a nuclear bomb, meaning that Superman's heat vision is not only more powerful than a nuclear bomb here, but he's also containing and directing that energy so it only hurts Doomsday and not everyone else because otherwise a heat this strong would expand outwards and destroy the entire city, or at least a very large chunk of it. It is more powerful than a nuclear bomb after all. And speaking of frying brains, in the game Injustice, Superman uses his heat vision to burn into the skull of Shazam. Now Shazam is a very powerful being. He has defeated literal gods and monsters, and even managed to survive a direct hit from Darkseid's Omega Beams the same beams that have knocked Superman unconscious. So Shazam is one tough guy, and yet Superman was able to hold him in place and casually heat blast through his skull and melt his brain without so much as breaking a sweat, or without Shazam even being able to make it slightly difficult for him, which would require an insane amount of strength, and an even more insane amount of power behind the heat vision. I mean, seriously, this would have to be more powerful than Darkseid's Omega Beams in order to break through Shazam's skull so easily. So it's a pretty impressive feat. And one other heat vision which must be mentioned is in the film Superman vs. The Elite. Now, this one isn't so much powerful as it is just impressive. You see, Superman is fighting Manchester Black, who has amazing psychic powers. So Superman decides to blast his heat vision through Manchester's eye and fries the part of his brain that gives him his powers, basically using his heat vision as a scalpel to perform brain surgery, and then of course take away the powers and make Manchester Black just an ordinary human. So Superman's heat vision isn't just a powerful blast of energy that he can shoot outwards, it's a form of energy that he is able to control and manipulate after it has left his body. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to guide it through his eye and into his brain. That would just be impossible. So he actually has a lot of control over his heat vision. But it's not the only time that he's used his heat vision to perform complex brain surgery. In the film Superman Doomsday, a clone of Superman is made by Lex Luthor. And Lex Luthor puts a kryptonite failsafe in his brain. It's basically just a piece of kryptonite wrapped in a lead ball that he can crack open with the push of a button. Now obviously Superman's aware of this, otherwise it wouldn't be much of a deterrent. And Superman decides to get rid of it by firing a heat vision blast into a mirror, bouncing that off into his own skull, and making a hole with which he can reach into his own skull and pull out the failsafe. Which is just nuts. It really is. And it really shouldn't work for so many reasons. Not least of which, if this blast is powerful enough to get into Superman's skull, how does it not just melt the mirror? I mean, obviously the mirrors reflect light, but they don't reflect heat, at least not to that degree. There is also a powerful double blast of heat vision in the film Injustice, when Superman is fighting Superman. 
and they both try to fry each other, which creates a blast like a bomb going off. And although it's difficult to say exactly how powerful this blast is, it's still very impressive. And lastly, I just want to quickly say that Superman actually uses his heat vision in order to shave. It does actually make sense that he would require a lot of energy to shave. After all, his hair is invulnerable. Not really that impressive a feat, but I thought it was worth mentioning because I found it kind of interesting. Next, we're going to talk about Superman's strength. Now, as we all know, Superman is crazy powerful. That is literally the entire point of this video. But with great power comes great responsibility. And when you can literally punch the moon in half, you have to be sure to keep that strength under control at all times. After all, you and I can be a little heavy handed from time to time and it doesn't really matter. But if Superman gets a little heavy handed, he could easily knock over a building. So he has to make sure that he always keeps his power under wraps. Which basically means that Superman is always holding back. Even when he is fighting the most powerful supervillains in the universe, he still has to hold back because he might easily kill them if he doesn't. But all that changes when Superman fights Darkseid. For possibly the only time in the Justice League animated series universe, Superman is able to let loose his full power. And he punches the hell out of Darkseid. Basically smacking the most powerful supervillain in the universe around like a ragdoll. Of course, this isn't the only time Superman has let loose on Darkseid. In the series finale of Superman the Animated Series, Darkseid has brainwashed Superman into thinking he is Darkseid's son, and then he has sent him to conquer Earth. Now eventually Superman breaks free of this conditioning, and he decides to deal with Darkseid once and for all. And so he beats Darkseid very close to death, smashing his body apart and making a literal god bleed. Now the amount of power that this would take is almost unmeasurable, and the fact that he doesn't destroy the planet they're standing on is something of a miracle. I mean, that much power could destroy a pretty decent chunk of the Earth. And one of the other beings who Superman can really let loose on is, of course, Doomsday. And the best example of Superman punching the hell out of Doomsday in animation is in the film Death of Superman. Now, as the title suggests, Superman dies in this film and he is killed by Doomsday, who in this universe is actually a clone of Superman made by Darkseid and enhanced to be stronger than Superman. And this Doomsday is so crazy powerful that he is able to easily defeat every single member of the Justice League. And I do mean every member. Superman's actually busy on a date, so he is literally the last one to join the fray. But even when he does, even Superman struggles to fight him. Superman not only punches Doomsday above the clouds, but he punches him so hard that the shockwave destroys buildings. And Superman is nearly dead towards the end of the fight. But instead of flying away and recharging from the sun and giving his body time to heal and regenerate, he instead unleashes all the power left in his body in one final blow. And Superman hits Doomsday so hard that he not only snaps Doomsday's invulnerable neck, but the shock blast from it is like a bomb going off in the city. And don't forget that this Doomsday survived an attack from every single member of the League and just shrugged it off with ease. But this attack killed him just to put it in perspective. I mean, this blow would have to be powerful enough to destroy a mountain with ease. And the only other time Superman hits Doomsday this hard is in the film Superman Doomsday, an adaption of the same story where the two of them battle it out. And the final blow comes when Superman flies Doomsday into orbit and then slams his body back down to Earth, killing him. And Superman also hits him pretty hard in the Injustice Gods Among Us video game. Again, blasting Doomsday into orbit and flying him from Metropolis to the North Pole in seconds, and then smashing him down at the Fortress of Solitude. And when you're going that fast, slamming into the ground must bloody well hurt. Although he is able to punch an alternate Superman into orbit, and then fly up fast enough to punch him back down to the ground. And of course, he can do this to any character in the Injustice Gods Among Us video game, and he can also punch him pretty hard in the sequel. Although since this is just a super move in the video game, I'm not really counting it as part of the animation. I'm really only counting the cutscenes from that video game. And speaking of the Injustice cutscenes, Superman also manages to freeze a few hundred tons of water into ice in seconds. And this much water couldn't be frozen this fast, even if its temperature was absolute zero. 
meaning Superman's freeze breath is colder than the coldest temperature that can exist in the universe. Now, admittedly, Superman defies the laws of physics all the time, it's kind of what he does, but still, that's a pretty impressive feat. Next up, we have All-Star Superman. Now, in this film, Superman first rescues a group of astronauts from crashing into the sun, and he does this by expanding an energy net around the ship and dragging them out. And this new power comes from being so close to the sun that he has been supercharged with its power. The problem, though, is that he has now become so powerful that his body is being destroyed and is being turned into pure energy. But until that happens, he is more powerful than ever and does some of his most impressive feats, including his most impressive strength feat, where he is able to lift 200 quintillion tons. I mean, that is just absolutely mental, which means this is quite possibly the most powerful feat of strength Superman has ever done outside of the comics. And there's even more stuff in this film. At the end of the film, a sentient cyborg named Solaris teams up with Luthor to take over the Earth. But unfortunately, Solaris betrays Luthor and poisons the Earth's sun, turning it blue, which will kill everyone on Earth, including Luthor. And Superman not only defeats what is essentially a sentient sun and then kills him, but as his body is turning into pure energy, he flies into our sun and heals it turning it back into a stable yellow sun. So this may actually be the most impressive feat in DC animation to date, and quite a lot of other animations too, because the amount of power and skill you would need to fix the Earth's sun, I mean, that is beyond imagination. That is basically a level of power on par with the all-powerful Christian God. So it's pretty damn impressive. And Superman actually spends the next thousand years living in the sun, fully healing it, until it is absolutely stable. And because of this, he is able to absorb so much sunlight that he's able to create a new body for himself and become Superman 1 million, the most powerful version of Superman across the multiverse, who can literally destroy the entirety of existence without even breaking a sweat. Seriously, this guy could sneeze and destroy the Milky Way so he's pretty damn powerful. And I would say that him fixing the sun is definitely his most powerful feat in animation. But Superman can not only dish it out, he can also take it. Superman has survived Darkseid's Omega Beams on several occasions, beams that are able to vaporize pretty much all beings except the most invulnerable and powerful. And Superman has survived these beams across several different universes. And in Death of Superman, he survives re-entry into Earth's atmosphere burning up as he falls and being headbutted all the while by Doomsday, and yet he's more or less fine afterwards. And in Batman The Dark Knight Part 2, Superman is able to survive a nuclear blast. True, it knocks him down and he has to absorb some solar energy to restore himself, but being able to take a nuclear warhead to the face and then just walk it off, well, that's pretty damn impressive. And he also has survived fights with alternate versions of Superman, meaning he can not only dish out these powerful punches and colossal explosions of heat vision, but he can also take them and keep on fighting. And Superman was also able to survive a blast on the moon that was so big it could be seen from Earth. And all that happens is that his left eye turns a little bit red from a slightly small amount of blood. Now this is a blast that could easily vaporize a country, and Superman just shrugs it off. So basically what I'm saying is, Superman is bloody tough. And those are Superman's most powerful feats in animation. Are there any other ones that you think should have been included? And which one of these do you think is the most impressive feat? Do you agree with me that it's where he fixes Earth's sun? Or do you think one of these others is more amazing? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store. And to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching. And feel free to subscribe share, like, and comment.